Good morning, folks. Hope you're having a great day. Today, I thought I would do a video on palm trees and all the cool things about them that we love so much. Here in Florida, I never realized it, but most of the palm trees are not even native to the state. Um, a lot of them have been, I guess, transplanted here from different parts of the world. There are 220 different types of palm trees with 2,500 varieties of those palms. So it's kind of mind boggling to think that there are so many different types of palm trees out there, but it's actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna go through the property today and I'm gonna share with you some of the ones we have here and some of the cool things about them. Here we go. So first and foremost, that palm tree right there is called a cabbage palm. And you'll notice uh, you can't see them really, really well, but there's one right there. There's kind of a grayish area in the middle of all the green. Those are seed pods. So those little things pop out of the base and they have a whole ton, like literally hundreds or even thousands of seeds on them, which drop to the ground and then grow new trees. Um, one of the things about the cabbage palm when it comes to trimming them is if you don't trim the bottom branches out, all of these have been trimmed, but if you don't trim the bottom branches out, they will die and become brown. So once or twice a year, you have to get up there or have the landscapers go up into those cabbage palms and trim out those bottom, uh, bottom branches. Otherwise, they look kind of ugly, but they're kind of cool. I really like cabbage palms. So as we go around, uh, these little guys right here, and the palms I'm going to show you today are some of the more popular ones here in Florida. These little guys right here are called pygmy dates. And they're not dates like the fruit. They don't, they're not fruit bearing plants, but they're kind of miniature plants. And, uh, and they're very, very pretty. And it's kind of interesting too. You'll see sometimes on palm trees, um, like you see right here, there's actually different little types of leaves and fauna that grow inside of them. This one has them all over the side, and that's that's from birds dropping seeds and their droppings in there, and they uh, they actually start to grow. It's almost like a remora on the shark. It's a symbiotic relationship, and they do well together. Um, you can also see in that pygmy date a little bit deeper in there, you can see a seed head right there. So there's a bunch of seeds that will drop to the ground and start new plants, and that's how plants will start new and fresh and you know nature going through its life cycle it's pretty cool um, a lot of times they'll cut those out of there this tree also um, if you don't trim the bottom branches they'll kind of die back some i'm going to show you in a minute here actually drop their branches but this one like the cabbage palm turns brown and you have to trim them yourself and so here's my favorite one right here the coconut palm, as most people call them, just palm trees. Uh, coconut palms are really cool. And check this out. These are one of the trees that are not native to Florida, although they're all over the place. Um, back many, many years ago, travelers and adventurers from Cuba got stranded here on, on a trip to a different location in the world. And they had the coconut palm with them and they planted them around their homes or their huts or whatever they lived in. And that was the, um, the beginning of coconut palms growing here in Florida. And now they're everywhere. Um, you can see that one of the coolest things about the coconut palms is if you notice the coconuts up top right here, see how they're smaller and the coconuts on the bottom are much bigger. It's like a conveyor belt. Nature has this really cool way of having these palm trees or these coconut palms. The, the coconuts on top are smaller and the ones on the bottom are bigger. So they drop and become ripe on the bottom as the top ones are growing and maturing. So it's almost like a conveyor belt. So that, you know, if you think way back when, when the natives would eat these coconuts and stuff, they didn't have to eat them all at the same time or harvest them all at the same time. The tree would produce and drop coconuts on a timely basis, which I think is just amazing. And again, with the seedlings, if you look close, 
right up there, there's kind of, next to those smaller coconuts, there's some little pointy things. Those are seed heads, and those are all gonna become coconuts over time. So what we have to do here, because it's kind of dangerous, is we have a seeding area over there. So once a year, maybe twice a year, we have to have the landscapers come out with a really tall ladder, and these guys are wild the way they work in these trees, so it seems recklessly, but they know exactly what they're doing, and they have to cut those coconuts out of the tree so that they don't fall down. And I'll show you what happened here. We had a, we have this box over here, and this box, which is pretty thick plastic, one of the small, and I do mean small coconuts, came uh, flying down and hit that and, and actually broke the box. Um, now here's something that's pretty cool too. This, this is a baby coconut. It almost looks like a giant acorn, but that's a baby coconut and they fall out of the tree all the time. The wind knocks them out, they get loose, they get banged around and they fall to the ground. It's about the size of a, I don't know, maybe a ping pong ball or so, but that's a baby coconut. They're pretty cool. You'd never know that's what it was when you, if you saw it on the ground. So here's the, uh, here's the view right above me and I don't wanna be too close in case one of those babies falls down. But um, there's the coconuts up there and you can see there's all kinds of sizes. On the top left is bigger ones, up in the top right, the smaller ones, and they're doing their thing here in the tropics. I think Florida's the tropics. We're certainly in the Sun Belt. And then this is kind of cool, lining the whole side of the yard. These are called areca palms. And they are, I call them clump palms because they grow in clumps from the ground. And you regularly have to kind of cut them back. They can sometimes get diseased and they're prone to a type of fungus that can kill them so you have to be real careful but as you cut them back because they overgrow and cover the path you can see another little little one right there is growing from from the base so these areca palms are really fun they're one of my favorites and they're beautiful for the side of a property or if you want to build up a hedge for privacy so as we go down right here this is kind of cool, although it's not a palm tree. Oh, and you know something else I want to show you too? You'll notice over here a big stack of hardwood for our bonfires at nighttime in the cooler season. It is so hard in Florida to get hardwood because most of the trees that are cut down are palm trees. And palm trees are not hardwood and they're not good for burning. So I was able to find a gentleman who cuts down some hardwood trees um, and a lot of them, you're limited on how you can cut them down and neighborhoods don't let you, etc. But that's um, actually called Southern Oak. It's a really, really hard, um, great burning wood. But it took me almost a month to find it. Most of the hardwood for Florida, it gets shipped down from Georgia and Tennessee on barges. I mean, it's kind of crazy. The same thing with mulch. You don't see giant mulch trucks filled with, you know, mountains of mulch. It all comes down in bags. So even if they're doing a giant property, it's all done with bags because it's shipped from up north because there are no hardwood trees. So something that's kind of cool about this tree over here, although it is not a palm tree, this is one of our only hardwood trees on our property. And it is called a black olive tree. Again, it's not a fruit bearing tree but they're really cool. And the telltale sign is, if you look close, see those lines of dots? It almost looks like a woodpecker was in art class. Those lines of dots are natural to the tree, and that's the telltale sign that it's a black olive tree. And they're really beautiful, and there's lots of them in Florida and lots of them in the neighborhood. So as we go to the front, here's some more areca palms here all along the side. There's another clump of them right there. And we're heading to the front of the yard where we have what I say is my favorite palm tree. As I just walked through a spider web and I have spider web all over my face, that's fun. These babies over here, all of those up there are cabbage palms. But behind me 
are the royal palms. These trees I absolutely love. They're very stately. Let me do a shot from over here to the distance of those babies right there. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're just so stately and tall and beautiful. And I absolutely love them. I'm gonna show you some really cool things about Royal Palms here in a second. Going back over to this one. If you look up top, you see these wild looking almost alien looking uh, pods growing from them. Those pods contain these all seed heads, thousands and thousands of little seeds that will drop to the ground to grow new plants or new trees. And then check this out. Here's one of the seed covers. So this old guy, look at that, filled with water. If I was on a survival show, that would be a good thing to, to use to carry water. But these are the seed heads that cover, that cover the, the seed pods up there, and then they drop down out of the tree, which is pretty wild. And then you'll notice over here too, these are kind of self-shedding. The lower branches, or they're called fronds, think of friends, but with an O, F-R-O-N-D-S. Those lower branches, they peel back and they drop off naturally, so you don't have to have them trimmed up. Here's a really interesting looking seed. This, this cover right here that fell down was covering those seed pods right there. Literally thousands of tiny little seeds that will drop to the ground and they can grow new plants. And the thing that's kind of scary about here in Florida, back in the Midwest, you know, leaves fall out of trees and if you get hit by a leaf, it's not a big deal. If one of those fronds falls down and hits you, I mean, it could do damage. Look at, to the, at the size. These are the three palm trees on the other side of the property here, the three royals. Look at the size of this frond. I mean, that thing's got to weigh, I don't know, 30 or 40 pounds. It's probably 12 feet long. And when those things fall out of trees, I mean, they do damage to shrubs, cars, bushes, landscape lights, and people. You don't want to be around those babies when a storm hits. Just wild and so beautiful. And then there's one other kind too. I want to show you this one. This is called a foxtail palm. And the reason they're called foxtails is because if you notice, they kind of look like a fox's tail. There's a couple more over there that are really pretty. I love them because they're so full. The fronds are so full and they're just really, really pretty. And these have an interesting situation. As you notice, there's one frond there that's not properly opening that potentially has a boron, B-O-R-O-N, a boron deficiency because it's not opening properly. The brown one's okay. That's another tree that is kind of self-policing. Um, As those bottom fronds get brown, they fall off by themselves. But when they're not opening like that one, it might potentially be a boron deficiency and you need to talk to your local landscaper to find out what they can do about putting down some type of product that will help those open up. But those are one of my favorite palms, the way they blow in the wind and the fronds are so full. So that's our little, um, our little walk through, checking out all the different palm trees here on the property. And I hope you have an awesome day and we'll say bye-bye by watching the old cabbage palms blow in the wind. Have an awesome day, folks. Up, 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 now.